What's up? It's Mac here from Crypt Star Staken, and today I'm gonna take you guys through the newest addition to the Tezos blockchain, Crunchy's DeFi as a Service. Now, Crunchy Network gone ahead and launched a DeFi as a Service platform, allowing you guys to create your own farms on the Tezos network without having to learn about all those smart contracts and things like that. Now. During today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to go ahead and add liquidity to Quifu Swap, which is the Tezos AMM. Then you're going to go ahead and take those liquidity points, we're going to put them on the, crypt, the Crunchy Farm. We're going to go ahead and earn those sweet, sweet farming rewards. And right after that, I'm going to go ahead and take you over to the starting your own farm section. And we're going to learn how to go ahead and create our own farm and get now go ahead and get our project jump started on the Tezos blockchain. Now, for a caution, I am not a financial advisor. I do not do any sort of a, no financial advisement or anything like that. So please do your own research and find out if these tokens you see on this video are legit and if you want to go ahead and spend your hard earned crypto on them. Also, if you like this channel and you want to learn more about Tezos DeFi and uh, other projects going on in the Tezos ecosystem please be sure to subscribe and go ahead and hit the notification bell so you can go ahead and notify every time I have a new video. Now without more ado let's get started. And to get started we're going to go ahead and head over to crunchy.network. You can see here it has a little Taco, y'all like tacos, or else you wouldn't be subscribed to my channel. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the launch app button right here. And this will go ahead and this will take you to the page of the network. Here, I went ahead and logged into my beautiful Temple wallet. As you can see here, I'm a. Go ahead and head over to the farm service. Now, we're gonna start off. Explaining this, this crazy looking page, alright, this is actually a really nice page, but it can be kind of confusing for those of you who are new. You can see here it shows the total value locked on the Tezos the Crunchy Farms. We are almost at $10 million! So I'm guessing by the time I wake up tomorrow morning, we're going to be at $10 million total value locked. You can see here the price of the Tezos coin. And the price of the, price of the Crunchy token is 1 1.0177. And you can see the price of the Tezos Crunchy token, Crunchy Dow token, is 75 Tezos. <clears throat> Take a look down here, you can see the read, read the doc section and create your own creative farm section. I'll be going over that later. Read the doc section I went over in a previous video, so please check that out. Now, from here, you can go ahead and see the little drop down. You can go ahead and add these little filters. So, I'm going to go ahead and explain these filters one by one. You have the farming section. The farming section is basically total value locked. Around uh, around 10,000 pesos. Also, to be in the farming section, you need some sort of have some sort of verification, and not just be some random project project on the pesos ecosystem. Now, for the garden section, you don't necessarily have a, have a whole bunch of uh, tezos locked. Uh, I think it's over 1,000 tezos locked, and you can go ahead and show up in the garden section. Okay, so you can go and click on that and take a look. At those models. So you can see here, total value locked 9,000 tezos. Well, purple. I do what purple. Well, I want purple, but it's here, and it has four thousand dollars, four thousand percent APR. <laughs> like purple. Okay, another popular service right now is uh Hera, Hera token. You're going to take your Hera DAO for Hera token and thirty three thousand percent APY. So APY, I'm not going over the calculation here, but it's calculated based on the current price of the token, the dollar terms, and then they go ahead and hit math, and then it shows you the APY as to how much return you'd be getting on your dollar value of your tokens, your, your tokens fake, the LP2. Okay, now we're going to go to the next section. Section is Flash Bombs. Flash Bombs is a little bit special to Tezos. I've never seen finance change. Anybody can go ahead and start a flash farm. They can put in like whatever token they want as a reward, and they can reward people for go ahead and staking their LP, their LP tokens, or even just their single fake token to this farm. 
and usually these last for a certain amount of time. Uh, sometimes recently they've been having decimal issues, so some they're getting that sorted out right now. As of right now, you can see right there is an error message. There's a convenient harvest all function here, so if you have multiple things staked on here, go ahead and mass calculates them and you get a discount on the uh, harvesting rather than doing them just one at a time as well. So it's cheaper to press the harvest. Now, there you can go ahead and see your stake tokens. I have no stake tokens. I am a purple man. And you can see here you can harvest all your stake tokens up here right here. And from there, we're going to go ahead and try to stake our own token. So I'm going to go to farms. Go to farms. Now say I want to go ahead and stake my Tezos and my Crunch. I can just go ahead and go here. Stake now to earn rewards. Bam. Let's go ahead and hit get XTZ Crunch LP. Get over here. It'll take you to Kweepu Swap. This takes you directly to the swap you need. Now, this is assuming you already have Crunch token. So if you don't have any Crunch token, like... Go ahead and type that in. Uh, you have to actually go to the swap section and swap for some. Okay. From here, you can go ahead and get, uh, add liquidity, and then but uh, Tezos Temple Wallet will show up. Please confirm that transaction. Okay. Confirm that transaction. Wait about a minute. Head back over here. Press the little plus button. Here, show your little XTZ Crunch LP. Go ahead and hit Use Max. It says the greatest amount must be. Now, if you have any trouble on this page. Uh, say for example you type in 15 point blah 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 there's like a million decimal points because sometimes the, the lp point calculation about that it'll give you an error message when you hit stake that's because this platform doesn't always support the full decimal point. so in this case you want to just turn the decimal point because honestly you're not going to get that much of a light it's not going to add much to your reward go ahead and stake that and then you should be fine. Also, if you have a backtrack a backtrack transaction, it just means that the node you're using is being overutilized right now, so you could resend that transaction. Or you can go ahead and look up uh, Google some other nodes and just head. However, for Kweepu Swap, you have to use their node. So make sure you just keep to the main Tezos. So make sure you stick to the main Tezos main net using Kweepu Swap. Now for the next section, we're going to go ahead and go to create, teach you guys how to create a farm on the Tezos Crunchy Network platform. So from here, we're going to go ahead and create a farm. Now from here, you're going to choose which kind of token type you want, FA2 or FA1.2. FA2 tokens can have multiple token IDs because they can support tokens under one smart font. So in this case, you can go ahead, we'll use Crunchy as an example again. Crunch. Now to go ahead and get this, this token ID. Just copy this contract, which is right here, paste it right there. Now, Crunchy is made of its own token, so once you put that in, it'll just go ahead and autofill for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and earn, to state Crunch to earn Crunch. And we'll put in the time frame. we'll start to 14th to the 31st, okay. And reward deposit, 10,000 Crunch, bonus period. And this bonus period here, let me go ahead and explain that. Basically, for the first two weeks, or how many weeks you want, you can set the bonus period right here. Go ahead and say, oh, I want to have like a 20x multiplier. And then it'll go ahead and show you the rewards right here. Got 7 to 14 to 7 to 31. So, oh, bonus period. We're going to have one day right here. Bonus period. 7 20. Bonus period ends. There's 7 days. Okay, so this will be our first bonus period. This is the second bonus. So I put in 20. 10. Here it kind of calculates the what's per second, different bonus periods. So the earlier the people get in, the more bonus period there is. Encourages people to pay attention to your new farm. Now here you're going to choose your crunchy uh, reward. Now 10,000 crunch rate as 
time of this video, 1, 000, 10 thousand crunts about 176 dollars. So it's kind of expensive. However, if you just want to put in a, go ahead and donate some more of your token that you're putting in. Uh, you can go ahead and just put in five percent and donate 100 crunts. Be honest, kind of just want to choose which one you do. You're gonna put in a huge pool. You want to go ahead and choose thousand crunts. Say you want to put in two thousand uh two thousand dollar pool. Uh, then it's probably cheaper. Uh. Putting like a five thousand dollar tokens into a pool, probably cheaper to choose this one. But if you only put like a hundred dollars into a pool, it's definitely cheaper. To the top one, okay. So you go ahead and do the math, figure it out yourself. There, you're gonna select your service fee. Hundred. Go ahead and create a farm. Boom! It's gonna be sent to your temple wallet. Mine's gonna fail because I don't have any crunch token. Boom! Right there. There you go. So you're gonna hit hit confirm. One, yours isn't gonna say that. Okay. All right, everybody. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Again, if you like this video and want to hear more about Tezos project, please go ahead and hit that notification and subscribe button. To support the channel. And also, if you have any questions about Tezos baking or anything like that, feel free to leave a comment below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you want to go ahead and mint any TZ uh, USDTZ or for FTZ, you can go ahead and fill out a form on our website and we'll go ahead and get that ball rolling for you. Anyways, have a great day and have a great week and I will see you all again in my next video.